Operation Ganymede, considered as one of the most expensive journeys into space, has now been officially closed. Attempts to re-establish contact with the three spaceships have been unsuccessful after having failed in their swing-by maneuver behind the planet Jupiter, a highly ambitious undertaking. The United States Agency NASA, as well as the Soviet contact space stations, have abandoned the project. There has been no sign of life from any of the spacecraft for the last six months. The return of the three seven-man spaceships, 21 astronauts, who were to have carried out a manned landing on Jupiter, Operation Ganymede, has been expected to return in two and a half years. The General Assembly of the United Nations, under whose patronage of which this international mission for peace, friendship and understanding among the nations had been conducted, rose to their feet at the beginning of today's session in memory of the missing space pioneers before returning to the day's agenda. The United States Congress has stated that all future funding for space efforts has been discontinued for now. One to lab, one to lab. 60 seconds to burn out of brake drive. Count down to B after zero. After zero, check biosystems and conversions of all systems to manual operation. Over. Roger. Over. Repair energy reduction after 12582. Over. Lab to one. Count down on B. After zero, check biosystems for energy reduction. 12582. Over. Hey, Don, what you see? Nothing. It's clear. We're still on the landing path, flying straight into it. Won't be long now. One to lab. Nuclear reactor will be jettisoned on approach to space station L1. After burnout, computer will start new countdown to B. Over. Roger, all around. Well, that convert all energy consumers to board current. Over. Roger. Starting with the biosystems check. Program for navigational control running. Free for corrective commands. Okay, flight path analysis. All path data inside red line will reach position rendezvous at zero in 12 seconds. Altitude 30,920. Okay, maintain burnout on go. Seven, six, five, maintain on go. No critical parameters. Two, one, zero, burnout. Path correction approach space station L1 orbit parameter. Check. Speed. Ground zero, space relativity 39014 kilometers per second. Acceleration? Zero. Okay, fine, baby, here we come. Go for path correction. Drinking water contents, tank one. Path correction, they're swinging onto orbital path. Drinking water tank one, okay. Can you see anything? Uh-uh, not yet. What? Wait a minute, it's a blind angle. You won't see anything. Okay, what's next? Accept it. 45, 35, 45, temperature 56.8. Heat to zero, pump on manual. Heat to zero, pump on manual. Perspiration and urine collectors, one to seven. Water regeneration, okay. All collectors from automatic to manual. Algae tanks. Algae tanks one and two are zero. UV light out. Heating turned off. Group systems converted to manual. CO2 converter. CO2 converter switched to minimum and manual. Nothing. Seems like they can't get around. What are they doing up there? All right, Don, don't get excited. Okay, just get it through to the capsule. If they wait till the end of the path correction, it'll be too late. Are you nuts? Mackle cut us to shreds if you bug them about that. Okay, then I'll tell them. 
You're losing your marbles, Don. You better stay where you are. You'll see it soon. And I'm calling him. What are you doing? Keep your hands off the intercom or I'll cut off the line. Doug, turn it on, will you? We'll never get this chance again. And I, for one, want to see it. Burnout path corrected. Okay. In Earth's orbit. Relax, Don. Your pulse is over 120. Yours is much lower. Shut your face. We are in return position. Synchronous circular orbit over Central Africa. Jettison reactor in 180 seconds. Prepare to dock on land ferry. Patrol outer housing units. How far are we along in systems conversion lab? Over. Lab to one. All energy consumers in biosystem ready for conversion from reactor to board current. Over. Beginning phase countdown to B. Countdown for conversion running. There's no echo. No echo? No, there's neither a space station nor orbiter in sight. No one's got us on the screen. The orbit will be along any minute, even without radio contact. We're on time, they'll be on time. We are 42 hours early. <laughs> After a four and a half year flight, man, we're there. Nine, eight, Conversion of energy supply, yellow light. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Activate conversion. Board supply converted to battery current. Get ready for explosion countdown of reactor now running to B. Over. Bozy turns the ship around to minus 90 degrees, or even 100. Not yet, Don. Countdown. Another 20 minutes, we'll be done. Then we get around positioning maneuvers. Take a look at the view and see if you can see anything. This is one. Jettison reactor in 60 seconds. Max stop action reactor. Red line functions? All functions are okay. There's no orbiter in sight. We're in orbit. The orbit will be there. There's no radar echo. Not even from L1 space station. That radar belongs in the garbage along with the rest of this lousy ship. We are right on schedule and we are in position. Okay, I just hope someone comes out to pick us up. We're 42 hours, 7 minutes too early. That's all accounted for. They just have to get a move on with their red carpet. Mac, stop the countdown. The reactor's hot and running. Separation is SOP as soon as we get into orbit, then docking maneuvers. We haven't had contact in 900 days. Don't worry, they know we're coming. They've been watching us all this time. They ain't watching shit. Our transmitter's dead. NORAD can locate objects the size of my thumb up here in space. They can only locate what they're looking for. Think of all the gorgeous girls in front of their television sets waiting for you. Oh, yeah. If that reactor goes off, we're without energy. We don't need any more. We're on schedule. Yeah, but the orbiter is... you forget that radar set of yours? It's defective. The countdown continues running. Then stop it. Automatic remains on go. Release brackets. Brackets released. Open circuit breakers. Circuit breakers open. Close refrigeration valves. Refrigeration closed. Jettison system. Ready to fire. And we stay on go. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. Reactor separated. All systems okay. Energy from supply section, battery current. Okay. An echo. I got an echo on radar. Oh, man. It's just the reactor. That's all it is. Yeah, sure. It's just one echo. But it means the radar set is working. If we turn the ship around, it'll point the emergency antenna straight to Earth. One to lab, one to lab. We're turning plus 154 degrees. Grab a look from the hatch, boys, and enjoy the view. Boss, position control on. It's on. 
Give me the computer readings and follow the maneuver instructions. Thanks, Mac. You're all heart. How about that old guy? He knew exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Ship's turning. This I gotta see. anything. Have we docked? Not yet. The orbiter hasn't shown up, and L1 hasn't contacted us yet. We're stuck here. So quiet. No sounds. Systems. All systems are off. Gotta save energy. There's enough for a couple of hours. Come on, Steve. Huh? Move. Dawn will be all right. Yeah, we gotta go out and adjust the antenna and those sun paddles that shut off. Auxiliary energy reserves. Solar cells are like a dildo. Well, at least we can say goodbye. Lab to one. Dawn's okay, he's awake. I'll switch the biotelemetry over to you so you can watch over his circulation. We're going upstairs. Over. Roger, go ahead. This is Eva to one. Antenna in position. Sun paddle extended. Over. I read you, Eva. We're sending out an emergency call. Ganymede 2 to Capcom. 
Ganymede 2 to Capcom. Position as planned. We're in Earth's orbit. GSS above Central Africa. Ganymede 2 is in the Kalini. Ganymede 2 is in the Kalini. Position above Plana. Semnaya Arbright. GAS Norda Fritzen. Energy and oxygen reserves 20 hours. No contact with L1. Repeat. No contact with L1. Avicaiets. Avicaiets. Nothing. They've got to hurt us. They're not answering. Transmitters working, our signals going out. Maybe if they open their ears. They haven't heard us or seen us for the last 900 days. Our position was never this good. Capcom, Cape Kennedy on the western horizon. Kalatin, Churatam downstairs. They should hear something from this distance. One to Eva, calling Eva. Come in, please. Over. This is Doug Mack. What's up? Over. Point it to the western horizon. Lean it 10 to 12 degrees latitudinally, over. Gotcha, 10 to 12 degrees towards the western horizon, over. It's a lousy piece of junk. That's what it is, a piece of junk. Uh, well, it got us there and back. Yeah, Oss. So far. Uh, I'm not expecting my president or your first secretary to the party to welcome us personally, but I do expect some son of a bitch to be there waiting for us. Have you ever thought that uh, you've got a first secretary to the party now? Or that you uh, might have a freely elected president. After four years, four months, three days, anything is possible, Comrade Osaki. It sure is. It sure is, Commander. Let's give it another try. It won't do any good. We only got the two quartz frequencies. One more mayday and hallelujah. Then all together they can kiss my ass, the UN and NASA and ESA. Here come our great heroes. After a billion kilometers in outer space and four and a half years away, welcome home. Home from the most hazardous journey ever. The longest flight our fucking civilization ever put in the sky so we're the goddamn cheering crowds. Yeah, sure, we put our heads on the block, riding these pieces of scrap iron through outer space. All the two-bit morons will get a big charge out of watching us break our ass on some goddamn midnight television news show. Let loose the clowns. Mayday. Mayday. This is Ganymede 2. Ganymede 2, Mayday. Ganymede 2 calling anyone who's listening. Please reply. Over. Mayday. This is Mayday. Ganymede 2 back with five survivors. This is Ganymede 2. Ganymede 2. Was was the first thing that you have to do? The thousand million years ago. You have to do it. Ganymede. Mayday. Mayday. Calling ground stations Capcom Mayday. and Kalinin. Mayday. Ganymede 2. Calling Capcom. Over. Mayday. Mayday. Oh my god. Christ, our frustration tolerance is zero. It's funny, I always thought Don was the only neurotic that we had around here. They can't hear us. Okay. Okay. If we knew this, we could have saved our voices 900 days, four times a day, course data, flight analysis, all the critical parameters. Deaf and dumb. Not a signal from ground radar. Of course we knew. The magnetosphere around Jupiter. Yeah, yeah, we expected it, but... Oz, it looks as though... What do you think? Wait. Don't forget we're early. And if there's still no answer... Then land. Oxygen reserves. For Christ's sake, man, pull yourself together. Twenty-one hours. For five men. For the two of us, double that time. Who knows, the orbiter could get up here by then. But that's not the way it's going to be, my friend. One to all hands.
hands. Ava, get back in the ship. Get backs and order emergency. I want everybody up here on the double. And make sure that all the locks have been secured. for cargo crash and stay aboard. But that's suicide. E-13-600 is our cargo program. Payload transport without crew. We're not supposed to be here. Let's just hope the damn thing functions. The system isn't planned for this kind of a load. The system doesn't give a shit. Our bodies aren't built to take it. Our fathers survived this sort of thing all the time. Ah, uh, yeah? They used another technology. If we get down, who's gonna find us at sea? I say we stay here. And wait. How long? 20 hours and then eternity? We go down. Down. All right, get ready to abandon the capsule. Os feed in the data. Position, course, angle, and run. My sample. Get your seatbelt on. The Ganymede bio samples. Everything stays where it is, including notes, samples, and souvenirs. The bio samples are the proof that they organic stay where they are. life. Get your belt on. The medicine kit. I'll get it. Control position and course. Both on go and locked for collective commands. Countdown is one. Locks tight. Locks tight. Empty lock. Extracting air now. Set flight, path parameter, and point of landing. Lock empty, interior pressure stable. Navigation okay. All systems and subsystems on go. All hatches locked. All valve systems are ready to go. All valves closed. Seven remaining feeders. All contacts cut. Countdown stays on go. Way street, straight down. Check survival systems, refrigeration, oxygen, pressure, all on, go. It's like riding a roller coaster. Capsule drive system. You don't know where you're gonna end. Acceleration drive on, go. Burnout in 35 seconds. Activate separation of capsule. Separation activated. All systems green light. Here we go. Well, it's the last leg of the journey. Helmets on and pray.
get out. Is everyone okay? Ah, oh, you can feel your 150 pounds again. Let's stop. Oh, yeah, that's what you think. We're down, aren't we? What the hell else could happen to us? We're home! All right, get your flight suits off and your bait whiz off. What are you doing? Secure that hatch! Where's the red carpet? And the rescue fleet. Where's the orbiter? It's a good thing I learned how to swim. Should be easy to locate. We're right on target. 13600. Read it for yourself. All systems inoperative. Everything on zero. Plenty of ships at sea. One of them will pick us up. We'll send out an SOS. With what? Get your May West off. <laughs> Why? Go around, Mac. Where the hell are we? No houses. No towns. Nothing. Just desert. We'll find out where we are, Don. The important thing is that we're still alive. So what? So what? We're on our way. We're... We'll head north. <laughs> Why north? All right, get up. Both of you. All right, men, get ready to pull out. We're staying here. There's nothing out there but a lot of desert. We can't stay here. We gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving, huh? How far do you think we'll get? 
stay mech. If you have the will to survive, you'll survive. Whoever gives up is lost. You must have courage and self-confidence <laughs> to conquer your own weariness. Always stay in command of the situation. <laughs> and never let it take you over. First lesson in survival training. Stinking theory. I'm headed north. Who's coming? I'll go alone if I have to. Without water? Thanks. I've got some. It won't last you long, Mac. You'll burn it up in a day. I'll send you a postcard from New York. Bringing the water. We haven't got much. We walk along the coast, desalinate seawater with a plastic tent. No problem. Coming. He stayed there. All alone. He's got water and supplies. For one day. For more than that. At least three. We better keep moving. We'll wait here. He won't come. He must. Or we're not going on. Mac, if we stay here, the sun will fry our brains out. We'll wait. He won't come. He'd, he'd never make it.
drive by you. Hey, 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 hey. Why? Don! Don! <coughs> Mac, you're right. Don't you freak out on us now. There's bound to be somebody around here. They might see our signal. After all, it is the planet Earth. Well, I'd go easy on those flares until you're sure. I've still got four flares left. scientist, but an astronaut never. Come on, get back in there. It's just a test.
gotta be here. Where the hell is everyone? Come out, you mothers. Where are the people? Hey! They're all hiding. I think we're the little green men from Jupiter, I guess. They were going to come out with banners and garlands. Children strewing flowers and singing. Did they recognize us from television? When we took off. <laughs> Look in the mirror. Five old men. <laughs> they ought to put us on pension. Let's spread out. Contestant is Steve Cunningham. The $10,000 question. Be seated. You can win. Yes, you can win a trip to Jupiter on Ganymede 2. There. And if you're really lucky, you can win a trip back. Where are we? The west coast of Mexico. That is not precise. The unfortunate contestant has only five points. The return trip to Earth? I'm sorry, you lost that. You're about as funny as a crutch. Here, here. Here, where hundreds upon hundreds of little children's filthy fingers have been. Here, of all the lousy places in this planet to land, we had to pick here. 
this guy in a desert. So where are all the children with their filthy fingers? We head east, till we get to this road right here. Then we take the road all the way to San Diego. <laughs> San Diego? The USA? Yeah, 100 miles or so. For the crew of the Ganymede, too, it's a... On foot. On foot, it's a bit longer. The road! Mac! There'll be traffic! Son of a bitch! We made it, Mac! We made it! The road to San Diego! Water! I found water! Water! I found water! He's telling the truth. Uh, I'll forgive him everything. Water! Come on! It's over here! Come on! Let open. Stop. It's like rotten fish. Seaweed, algae? No. Deserted village, no wall, just this cistern. We're not taking any chances. Give me the tablets. We've got to disinfect the water. Give me the tablets. No tablets. We haven't used them. You were told to leave everything on board. You disobeyed my orders. the only proof we have of life on Jupiter. I gave you an order. Four and a half years and 16 men dead. I would have never left the ship without these bottles.
Mac, will you listen to me? No. No excursions unless I'm in charge. And I'm busy right now. Those photographs of the approach. That crater's filled with liquid. Pure supposition. Let me check it out. No, Dawn. It's the only way we'll ever know if I'm right or wrong. We've got a thousand things to check out, Dawn. But not as important as this. It could mean there's life on this planet. Everything in its own time, Dawn. And we've got nothing but time. We haven't got enough time. And you haven't got enough patience. Chug and Josh will be finished with a passive seismometer in about an hour. Is that right? This is Chug. Be done in half an hour, okay? Okay. Chug? Yeah, Mac? You and Josh will be going with Don to this crater lake he wants to take a look at. About two to four miles back on our landing path. You can take the rover. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. And Don, you take all responsibility for this trip. Okay.
Winch is all set. Get ready. You sure you want to do it? Absolutely. Okay. Including my oxygen tank, I only weigh about 65 pounds here. You know, Don, I still think we're making a mistake not telling Mac about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Chuck, let out the rope. Go ahead. Don, give me a sign for stop and go, okay? Okay, go. Celsius. 
That can't be right, Josh. That's what it reads, 27.3 degrees. <laughs> Analysis. Water, methane, hydrogen, ammonia, carbon dioxide. Hey, Don, the biomolecule detector is activated. You sure you're not mistaken, Josh? Absolutely. I have a reading on three. That's fantastic. Chuck, now you can tell Mac and the boys what we found. <laughs> Josh, how you coming with the bottles? I'm filling them at various depths, pumping without a filter, labeling everything. That's great, Josh. Fill the last bottle from the bank. It might have microorganisms in it. Gotcha. Almost finished. You better get ready for the ascent. Go ahead, Chug. What about the biodetector? Still above three. It is chlorophyll. There are protein molecules all over the place. Sure sign of organisms of some sort. Josh, you're the greatest. Come on up, that's enough. Chug? All set. Take it away. Sending up the instruments and bottles first. Hold it. Stop. What's the matter, Josh? No, it's nothing. Go ahead, take her up. But be careful. The overhangs, they're like glass. They're as sharp as knives. Easy. Take it easy. Careful, Chug. Josh, hold your end taut. Okay, Don. It's almost here. Keep it going just like that. <laughs> Got it. Well, you got what you wanted. Now I guess you can forget about me down here. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna forget about you, Josh. Ready to come up? Sure, take it away. Josh, you tell Chug just how fast you wanna go. Okay. Chug, keep it going at this speed. Right. It's coming up. That's great, Chug. Just like the elevators back home. <laughs> Easy. Gets a little tricky here. Okay, all clear. Keep it going at this speed. That's it. Easy. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold it. Stop. Shit. What's the matter? Josh. Josh. What is it? The pressure line. Oxygen rip. Help me. Don. Chug. Josh. Turn off the PL. Turn the PL off. Josh, can you hear me? Josh. You can't hear me. Josh. Can you hear me? Josh. He's unconscious. I've got three minutes for decompression. Chug, hurry. I'll tell you when I've got him on the rope. Then you haul us up. Okay. <clears throat> when I give you a sign, you turn on the winch. Okay.
two. Roll it again to me two. Come in, please. Over. This is Gadamit two. I read you over. This is Doc. Josh and Chenegal have fallen into the crater. They're dead. Message received. San Diego. The road to San Diego. The road. The road to San Diego. Oh. 
north. When we get to the border, things will be a lot different. We'll see a lot of people. Yeah, sure we will. Maybe. Why do you say that? What are you thinking? Everything's deserted. Towns, roads, people are all gone. So what are you getting at? Skin's burnt. Look. Red blisters. Why? Because of the sun, idiot. That's why. What else could it be? Possibly. What else could it be? I don't know. But you got an idea. You can call it that. We were mostly in the shade, protected, during the day. But it's going to get worse. Nothing but artificial light for four years. We're moving north. We're getting closer to the border. And it'll get worse. Fall out. <laughs> Radioactivity, huh? Is that what you're thinking? Why not? I don't know. But do you think it is? I can't prove it. Yeah. Is there, isn't there radiation? Next to be getting us all hysterical. God, what a thought. But from where? A burned out reactor somewhere. In San Diego. Or somewhere else in California. <laughs> it's a crazy idea. We should be wearing our protective clothing. But of course, it would be too late for that. You mean we're wandering merrily across radioactive country? That's what you mean, isn't it? That's what you think? Nuclear war! Our country burn out! Destroyed! You bastard! I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! I'll kill you! Doug! Back! Come Back! Home.
do you want? What do you want?
<laughs> Welcome. We're very proud of you, Don. Astronaut and scientist Donald George. Donald George from the European ESA reporting on Operation Ganymede 2. Go ahead, Don. They're all yours. They're waiting. Go ahead, Don, baby. We're with you, Donnie. Yeah, tell us the story. What's that? We can't hear you, Don. Where are the rest of the crew? They're all dead. Died for scientific research and the dream of journey to the star. Do you have a family? Do you have any children? No, no. Life exists everywhere, apparently. It's part of a universal plan. How did the rest of the crew die? Hideously. Smashed to pieces, starvation, thirst, exhaustion. Burned up in the atmosphere of Jupiter. But life is nothing unusual. What was the greatest moment of the mission? doing something with shattering. Will you be making more space flights? My job is over. The bio samples from the crater lake are here. And what were your roughest moments? The first 10 months, the Earth keeps moving away from you. And then the swim by, behind Jupiter, all our systems went off. The magnetosphere was stronger than we anticipated. There were no women aboard. Did you have any homosexual contacts? No, no. Why not? No one was into that, really. Well, then what did you do for sex? We... We had pills. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I know. That's part of the test. Yes. Yes. Pull yourself together, Donald. It's only a test.